for for Nokia HQ. And today's tutorial, we're going to show you how to use our Chrome extension integration for Bubble to build a Chrome extension without code that will scrape um, some data from a website. And um, we're just going to build a simple um, scraper that generates data from yellowpages.com. Um, this would work for all kinds of web pages. You could scrape and, and get lead data from LinkedIn. You could scrape um, uh, real estate listings from uh, websites like Zillow uh, and so on and so forth. So what we're doing is just um, simple here, yellow pages. Uh, I'm on yellowpages.com right now and we're here on um, the results for restaurants in Miami. And what the goal is that basically we build our Chrome extension in a way quite simple that you can then click on something, a listing, um, you click on the Chrome extension, you kind of import this data, this lead data, uh, for whatever reason, uh, into your Bubble application where you then have a database. So you build your own scraper basically for yourself or for your customers. So what you will need for that is um, your dedicated Chrome extension page in your Bubble app. If you're not sure about, about this, please watch one of our other tutorials. We have lots of tutorials explaining how to do this. We have our Chrome extension plugin here, element dragged onto the page doesn't matter where, just simply put that on. And then we can also jump right ahead and start um, designing and building the Chrome extension. So first of all, let me just for design purposes add a, add a title at the top, um, uh, yellow pages scraper. All right, um, and let's, I don't know, make it a bit bigger. Um, and then let's just add a big button here. And this button should just say import data. And that's all we're going to do in terms of um, in terms of um, design here. Let's head over to our data tab. Let's create a new type called um, just let's call that uh, listing. That's the data we want to import, import or uh, listing data like this. And now we can think about what, what kind of data we will we will want to import. Um, I'm just going to keep it really simple. I just want to import the actual name of the restaurant and the URL the URL of this listing here on yellow pages. So all, all the fields we need is just the name of the restaurant, which is of type text, and also the URL, which is of type text. Great, so that's it regarding this. And now obviously we wanna, um, we wanna um, import the data. So let's start by doing this. First of all, we're gonna start at a workflow. And the first step, getting the URL is quite simple. All you'll have to do is go uh, over to element actions and search for get current URL. That's all you have to do. This will um, allow the Chrome extension to grab the current um, URL of the tab the user is in. Okay, so quite simple. For the next part, um, we're gonna have to look into the actual structure of yellow pages. This always is different between different um, uh, yeah, websites and applications. So I'm gonna right click here on this title, which is the name of the website, uh, the name of the restaurant, inspect, okay, in Chrome. And I can see already, okay, this is a H1, so a heading. Uh, in this case called Winwood Kitchen and Bar. And the class is Dockable and Business Name. These are two separate class names. And we're just gonna take the second one because I think that makes also sense. Um, and it's a nice structure. They gave basically their title, the class name, business name, which makes sense. This is the name of the business. So all we have to do now is just copy this, this here, which is the class name, business name. Now we're gonna head back to our Chrome extension and we're gonna add a new action, which is get Let's find it, get the value of element, not by ID, but by class, because we said, okay, that's the class. And we copied it, so we add a full stop for the class and business name. So what's happening now? When the button import data is pressed, which I can make a bit nicer as well, maybe, just for design purposes, all right. When this button is pressed, we're getting the current URL of the, uh, of the tab, and we're getting a value um, from the page by targeting the class name. Okay, and almost we're almost done to be honest. Um, in the la that next step, we're gonna create then the new data type. So create a new thing called listing data, and the name. Okay, the name of this listing will be Chrome extension A's return text. This is the text returned by the get value step here, and then for the URL, we can have again Chrome extension A's. Um, where is it? Current URL. And you can see that's it. We're getting the values in these workflow steps and then accessing these values via the Chrome extension state, URL and return text. And then we can also just add an alert maybe just to see um, that the data has been imported like this. Let's add an alert here, a success alert, um, data imported. 
and we can also just add the data maybe here just that you can visually see that the data has been imported so let's just add a data here so we're going to have chrome extension a current url and then beneath that um chrome extension a what is it the return text and we are done at last we just want to add the alert here okay show an alert um and we should be good to go so let's just try it out immediately um I'm going to take another example actually let's i don't know let's take a look at this here pizza place um and let's open our chrome extension um it'll load a bit longer here because we have lots of plugins installed for this um, test testing app but once the chrome extension loads you can see already okay we have our yellow page scraper let's try to import some data okay and you can see all right worked fine um we have the alert we see the actual URL of this of this place uh, of this page, which is correct, and we have the name um, Steve's Pizza. We can try out something else. We can click on another listing. Are they linked here? No, they're not. So let's try. Um, I don't know this one here, the Japanese restaurant. Let me open the Chrome extension here again. Um, and import data again you can see it's an easy way to just simply build your own scraper um, uh, build for your specific use case i'm going to import data again um, and we can see we have the japanese restaurant um, imported now as well and yeah and basically what we did now build a simple scraper that will um, scrape the data and import it into your um, bubble database where you can then work with it or do whatever you like um, and you can either build this for yourself Build your own kind of scraper without code or offer this as an extension to your customers and really um, extend your bubble app with that um, by having a chrome extension that's basically it um, thank you for watching for this short tutorial and i'm going to see you guys for the next tutorial of nokia hq bye